How to use Google Trends for Shopify Hi there, today we will be learning about how to use Google Trends, especially if you are trying to find a winning product that you'll be able to use for dropshipping here on your Shopify online store. So you can begin with the opening your Shopify account and you can actually access Google Trends for free. You can go to any browser you have and just search for trends.google.com before you will be able to um, explore or look for the trending topics or trending products, you can actually go to the homepage here where you'll be learning a lot of information on what are the basics of Google Trends and how you'll be able to use and analyze the information. So here when you click on Explore, that's the next tab after home, you'll be able to see that there are different informations like here. This is where you will type in on a specific item or a product that you want to look for if it whether it's trending in the specific area that you're trying to sell or your target market for your business. And here you'll be able to add multiple products so that you'll be able to compare on which product is um, popular and which product is not. So you, here you actually can change on where is the location of the Google Trends that you're trying to look for. Currently it's on worldwide. So you'll be able to see the whole world on how or how many percentage the specific area in this world uses that specific product. So for example here, we have iPhone and Samsung. Here with it's actually majority of the um, trends are actually searching for iPhone here on our example. And here on beside the map, you'll be able to see on what are the specific countries that are currently searching or ha that has the most um, searches for that specific product. So you can have the option to remove one of them, but if not, below you will be able to see a more detailed information on what are the queries about that specific product. You can see here that there's iPhone case, there is iPhone 14 case rather, and here is the details or the data about the Samsung product that you have. And the most of the queries are basing on a product that they are currently selling which is actually, you'll be able to see on how many people has searched for it. And as you can see, it's breakout, which means it had a boost um, for the past few months. That specific product is not popular, but up until now, it actually still in its uptrend. So here you can actually set it as well. Um, on what country you are currently in. So you'd say you are just starting selling your product or you're just planning to get started with selling a specific product. You can choose what country you have and you can even change as well what time frame it is. So basing on the product or the um, searches using um, Google, you'll be able to view here for the past five years, you'll be able to see that there are times where um, iPhone is trending, there are times that um, Samsung is trending, but most of the time here, what is currently being searched commonly is iPhone. But you can actually change the category as well. For example, you want to focus on shopping. So when you click on a specific category like shopping, you'll be able to know on what products are mostly being purchased by the people into or what's popular when they are placing an order or getting that specific product. And as you can see here, Samsung actually leads to the uptrend here. Most of the people actually prefers to shop for um, Samsung. And you, you can even change the what type of data these are from. So for example, news search or web search, you can even um, look for social medias as well here. And once you have all those data and done all your research using Google Trends, you can actually use um, AdSpy, 
This actually is a software that helps you look into who are your competitors for that specific product so that you will be able to know as well whether how you will improve or make a boost of your business so that it will be effective here. But the thing here is that when you register for AdSpy, they actually have a subscription for this so you may not be able to use it but it, this is very recommended if you want to use this for commercial use or if you're trying to um, create your own business adspy is definitely a great thing so that you will be able to look into details on what products are best selling to other um, competitors how you will be able to um, look into details about the social media on how to enhance your basic marketing skills as well and you'll be able to get accurate demographics using this platform but even though that there is still a um, it has a subscription you don't have to worry with Google Trends this would definitely help you um, create or start up your business here especially when you are just trying it out so here this is just an idea or just a first step for you so that you will know on where to begin and where to start on your business so here we'll search for iphone accessories on what are the trending or how trending these product is so you can either use um, iPhone or just mobile accessories where it's definitely um, trending as well since most of the people nowadays owns a smartphone or an iPhone here, whether an Android or an iPhone. So uh, you can look into that here. You'll be able to see the related topics as well, like um, iPhone 11 mobile phone. You have the battery charger. Those are the topics that are currently trending on Google Trends. So here you will be able to see, or once you have decided on what product you're trying to sell, you can go to AliExpress. When you go to AliExpress, you can just search for the product that you want to add or sell into your Shopify store. And you can see that there's various options that you can look for depending on what theme you're looking or you're having with your Shopify store, you can definitely do so. And the good thing here with AliExpress and Shopify is that you actually have the option to connect these two. So if by the time that there will be a um, customer who wish to buy the product, it will only be shipped into the customer directly from AliExpress. So there's no need for you to worry about the inventory. So here you can actually go to a Shopify app store and you can go to, you can just install or add the app into your Shopify account. And in that way, you will be able to um, automate if ever there are already um, orders from your customers on your Shopify store and that's basically it that's how you will be able to use Google Trends in order for you to find winning products to sell as a drop shipping in Shopify and that's the end of the video thank you for watching bye